Okay, I'll be going over the kettlebell rack position. Um, basically holding the kettlebell at chest height in a stable manner, okay? The rack position is pretty essential for alignment. Um, it's the beginning of a press. It's also a great position to hold and walk, as you'll see in the marching video, and also a way to hold it uh, when we squat. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a few points. First off, you have to envision your hand, like your arm, as if it's in a cast. Knuckles are facing the ceiling. The wrist is completely straight. It's a straight line from your knuckles to your elbow. Okay, completely straight line, does not move. Many people who rack the kettlebell have this break in the wrist. They pretend it's like a dumbbell. It is not a dumbbell, it's a kettlebell. We want a perfect alignment, like so. <clears throat> wrist is straight, okay? Notice the handle is resting on the meaty part of the thumb. It's making contact with the ulna here, and I can hold that all day. Some people are a little uncomfortable with this at first. You will adapt. Okay, if it's too unbearable, you take an old sock, cut off the ankle portion, and wrap it around your wrist. That'll be some extra padding. You'll adapt eventually. Also, so, Knuckles face the ceiling, wrist is straight. The handle is on an angle, meaty part of the thumb, ulna. And then we hold it on an angle, like so. So not straight or out like this, on the angle and close to the chest. Like so, like so. Now the beautiful part about this is that when you're holding it in this position, the core automatically fires up. Okay, anytime you have a load at chest height in front, that core is lit up, it activates. Because if it didn't, you'd fall over. This is the rack position. Get used to it, because we're gonna be in it a lot.